Hello friends, today I would like to show you a video how you can back up your 8 or 16K cartridge. We have here a Galaxian cartridge and a Pango cartridge. Galaxian should be an 8K cart, while Pango should be a 16K. And it's going to be first video out of two. Well, the first part I'm going to show you how you can make a copy, a backup file copy of your 8 or 16K cartridge. And the next video I'll show you how you can make a backup copy of your uh, 64 or 128K cartridge, the larger cartridges. And the larger cartridges require some additional hardware that you need to make. It's just an uh, extension cartridge board, which when I added two switches to allow you to back those cartridges into files. But the 8K or 16K cartridges, you don't need any additional hardware. You just need a software. Uh, you can run the software from a floppy or a, run it from an ATR file using your uh, SIO to PC and I'm just going to put the software and boot it. There are several software available that was written for the Atari that allow you to back up cartridges. Uh, the best one that I found to use was made by Jindrush from the Czech Republic and this software, that's the software that I'm going to use. So the first thing, let's, let's make a backup of, your, of an 8K cartridge. The first thing you need to do is you need to put the cartridge inside the computer and you can see that it's, it's a workable cartridge, it's a Galaxian cartridge. Now what you need to do is you need to tilt the cartridge a little bit to the right until you can turn on the computer without the cartridge game starting up. So I'm going to try, see if it works. Yeah, so now I just tilt it a little bit to the right and the software can boot while the cartridge mostly stick inside the Atari 800 Excel computer. Now if you power the computer and the game still start, just, just power off the computer and tilt it a little bit more to the right until you get into a screen where the software starts. And once you get into the screen where the software starts, you just simply have to push the cartridge all the way inside and you can see that you get some kind of graphical representation of the lower, of, of, sorry, of the uh, lower 8K bank which is completely blank, there is nothing, no data into it, while there is some graphical representation of data on the upper 8K uh, cartridge uh, and that's the Galaxian game right here. So if I want to back it up to a file, I simply push the start button and the content of the um, um, cartridge is now being saved into a, a file on the, on the floppy. So very simply just find the position where the cartridge is mostly inserted but, but tilted all the way to the right and, and, and then just um, power on the computer, boot, boot the software and when you see the graphical just push the cartridge all the way inside, all the way into the cartridge slot and then push start and a file is going to be written on your floppy where you can just uh, 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 trace it. So let's try. Let's. If you want to see that the cartridge is actually working and you dump the correct data, just push reset. And if the game starts, that means the data was copied into a file. Just remember, push reset after you copy the file uh, into the floppy. And if the game would not start, that means you maybe copied an incorrect data. But if the game starts, it means that you copied the right data into it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a DOS 2.5 disk or a MyDOS. Just boot my computer with MyDOS or DOS 2.5. Let's power the computer. And well, let's wait for the DOS to start and when the when DOS starts, you can just put your software disk back on the drive. You can see there is the ROM 16 
a file and that's the Galaxian cartridge. Now the, the Galaxian cartridge is in 8K but the software always make a copy of a 16K file where we just need an editor just to extract the empty 8K. So I'm just going to rename the file uh, ROM16 to a Galaxian which is a 8K cartridge. So now I have on a file my Galaxian uh, cartridge completely backed up as an 8K uh, file. So if I'm going to try now to do the same thing with the Pango uh, cartridge, simply put it in, turn it on, see the game that it starts so it's a good working cartridge, switch the computer off, tilt it a little bit to the right, turn the computer on again, and the game still starts, so I haven't tilted all, a little bit more to the right. Switch the computer on, and the software will start booting up into the uh, dump cartridge. So right now, the cartridge is, data is inserted, but it hasn't been enabled yet. I'm going to push the cartridge all the way in, and now I can see the Pango 16K cartridge, the lower 8K and the upper 8K. That's the Pango game on a cartridge, and you just push start, and the cartridge content, the 16K cartridge, is going to be backed up into a file where I can just rename it and go on and do my uh, the rest of my 8K and 16K cartridge. It's the most easiest way, simple way, no additional hardware, and uh, just simple software that allow you to visually see the data when you that you're backing up and make sure that you are backing up a correct cartridge. If you see a cartridge that the data sometimes flicker and the graphical here changing, that means that maybe the ROM of the cartridge is not all the way good or bad and that's a bad cartridge that you are trying to copy. So now I just back up two cartridges, very simple, very easy, into a file. Well, next video I will show you how to copy a 64K, 128K cartridge into a file. That's all for now. Enjoy!